Franken sharpener. Boston pencil sharpeners, like the ones I remember from grade school in the 60s. 23cc two-stroke engine intended to power a radio-controlled car. Two and a half horsepower. Some of the raw materials in an early motor mount that I later discarded. Facing one of the pulleys on the lathe. Center drilling and faced, ready to bore or drill a hole. Drill the hole to the rough size. Boring to the proper dimension for the motor drive pulley. Machining the profile for the drive belt on the pulleys. Pulley completed, threaded to fit the pencil sharpener. We'll make the threaded insert to change how sharp you want the pencil later. Motor drive pulley needs a slot to mate with the tab on the end of the crankshaft. Slot completed, kind of primitive, but hard for me to machine. <coughs> the drive assembly components, clutch, pulley, and support with bearing. Motor drive pulley attached. Finished jack shaft pulleys and bearings on walnut pad. I need the pad for clearance for the belts. Mock-up on the mounting pad. Boring the holes for the cradle for the fuel tank. Now laid out for the sawing. Fuel tank cap started as a three-quarter inch brass pipe plug, now bored with three holes. The parts that will make up the fuel tank. Mock-up for the fuel tank with cradles. I was unhappy with these, so I remade the cradles later on. Most of the bits going to use a large piece of aluminum for the clutch. Partial disassembly of the motor searching for ways to mount it. Now narrowing in on the final layout. Drilling the mounting holes on the base. The now drilled mounting base. Hope I measured twice. Cut and drilled some aluminum round to mount the motor to the base. The washers are for vibration isolation. This is what they look like finished. Slotting the base to allow for belt tensioning. Here the vibration mounts are installed between the engine and the mounting base. The base now drilled and assembled with the minor, mitered walnut trim attached. All of the bits just before final assembly. The mounting of the pencil sharpener. The two holes inside are the standard mounts. The two on the outside are mine. The pencil sharpener mounts on the slots for adjustment and uses shop made vibration isolators. The blocks are now polished. The block mounting pad, engine mount, and fuel tank all are felt cushion. All of the major parts are now installed. The ready to run Franken sharpener. A rotated view. Made a primitive label for Franken sharpener, the pencil sharpener. The back of the sharpener 
I wouldn't recommend standing near the exhaust unless you love the smell of gasoline and oil. This angle gives you an idea of the drive belts. They're a quarter inch by 12 and a half. The business end of the pencil sharpener. 